In this video, I'm gonna demonstrate how you can achieve your most ambitious goal in the most strategic way and in the fastest time. Whatever your goal is, whether it's to save $100,000 by the end of the year or lose 20 kilograms of body fat or graduate in the top 1% of your university, whatever your goal is, I'm gonna show you how you can achieve it. And I don't mean by doing things like writing your goals down or telling friends and family so they keep you accountable or visualizing your success because although these strategies do work, I wanna go deeper than that because there are several other approaches that you can take that are far more powerful. So I've been thinking about this quite a lot over the last, let's say two or three weeks. I've been coaching hundreds of people over the last six years or so and following their progress closely and observing how they behave and operate. And some of them fall short in achieving their hugely ambitious goals. However, the majority do succeed. And I'm seeing a huge difference between the people that fail to achieve their goal and the people People that succeed and from what I've observed there are three fundamental traits that a person needs to acquire to achieve a hugely ambitious goal and these are self-belief determination and focus so let's break these down out of self-belief determination and focus the third trait so focus is the ability to essentially throw all your resources towards that one goal for three months so it's not that long and prioritize that one goal for three months above everything else in your life so you're doing absolutely everything in your power for just 90 days working very aggressively towards your goal this is the most interesting trait to me because it's the easiest to actually achieve. But we'll explore that trait later in the video. First, I want to really quickly talk about the first two traits, self-belief and determination, because these are still very, very important. Self-belief. For the first 20 years of my life, I struggled with self-belief. I didn't think that I could really achieve anything of significance, so I didn't even try. It was a self-fulfilling prophecy, right? My grades at school were average. I was super skinny. I didn't do any sports. I had very little money. I had no real motivation or drive. But around 2013, I traveled abroad and completely by accident, I started talking to people that were, at least in financial terms, massively successful. And that was probably the single most influential thing that I've done in terms of stepping outside of my comfort zone and actually believing in myself that I can make something out of my life because these successful people they were just normal people like me and you yet they had built this kind of incredible life for themselves and my thought process was like well if these people can do it then what's stopping me right there was like a huge turning point in my life where i realized that if i work hard and smart then I absolutely can achieve almost anything I put my mind to. And from that point onwards, I read books, I listened to podcasts, I watched YouTube videos. I basically for two years straight went on this kind of content binge for literally hours a day, listening, watching and reading content from the most successful business people, the most successful athletes, essentially studying and kind of reverse engineering how the top 0.1% on the planet got to where they are today. And again, this was fuel for my own confidence and self-belief because if you're reading and studying every day, other people that have achieved it subconsciously, it sends a message to your brain that that level of success is achievable. And what you realize is as you grow, as you start achieving more, as you become more knowledgeable, your self-belief will also start to increase because it's like now you have tangible evidence that you can achieve your goals if you put your mind to it. Learning and becoming more knowledgeable is an essential cog in the process of kind of developing and growing your self-belief. And one of the best ways you can become more knowledgeable is by using the Brilliant platform, the sponsor of this video. So Brilliant is a platform that replaces traditional lecture videos and textbooks with hands-on interactive problem solving. So whatever subject you're studying, whether it's science or maths or engineering or software development, Brilliant is very clever in delivering that information to you in the most effective and efficient way possible so that you actually process and remember it long term. Now I don't accept many sponsors on this channel even though I literally get dozens of emails every single day asking for sponsorships but I've been working with and using Brilliant for about four months now and I absolutely swear by their platform. I've already taken their advanced computer science and cryptocurrency courses. My next course on the list is the artificial 
artificial neural networks course, which was written in collaboration with researchers and lecturers from MIT, Princeton and Stanford. I'm relatively new to neural networks, but Brilliant do an amazing job of breaking down really quite complex topics into easy to understand bite-sized nuggets of information. Brilliant have a wide range of courses covering math, science and computer science, so if you're studying any of those subjects, I do recommend you check them out. You can join the millions of people already learning on Brilliant. Get started for free at brilliant.org forward slash Project Elon. The link is in the description and if you click that link, the first 200 listeners will receive 20% discount off their annual membership subscription. Determination. The second trait that you need to have and or be actively working on to achieve your most ambitious goals is determination. But what exactly does that mean? Someone who's determined to do something is extremely motivated and unlikely to quit or change their mind. Someone who's determined in general has a very strong desire to achieve their goals. And actually, Angela Duckworth, who's an author and professor of psychology at the University of Pennsylvania, has been studying this area for years. And her research indicates that determination, or grit as she calls it, is the single strongest predictor if someone is going to be successful in the future future or not. She found that determination is more important than natural talent, is more important than self-discipline, than motivation, or even IQ. One characteristic emerged as a significant predictor of success, and it wasn't social intelligence, it wasn't good looks, physical health, and it wasn't IQ. It was grit. Grit is passion and perseverance for very long-term goals. Grit is having stamina. Grit is sticking with your future, day in, day out, not just for the week, not just for the month, but for years, and working really hard to make that future a reality. A few years ago, I started studying grit in the Chicago public schools. I asked thousands of high school juniors to take grit questionnaires, and then waited around more than a year to see who would graduate. Turns out, that grittier kids were significantly more likely to graduate, even when I matched them on every characteristic I could measure. Things like family income, standardized achievement test scores, even how safe kids felt when they were at school. So to increase your levels of determination, one of the more important things you can do is really make clear why you're aiming to achieve your goal, right? So determination is fueled by emotion and to keep that emotion strong, to keep the determination strong, you need to keep it burning. So you need to have a strong why behind it. And this is anything that gives a deep sense of purpose to your life and makes it worthwhile, right? So for me, it's about helping as many people as humanly possible in kind of pulling them out of that trap of mediocrity and living a very average and mundane life and really helping them infuse massive amounts of passion and excitement and adventure and success into their life. Because I've been on both sides, so it's kind of a very personal message for me and a very personal quest that fuels me every day. Focus. Now for the third trait, and what I think is arguably the most important because it's the most controllable, it can be quite a time consuming process, completely reconditioning your self-belief or significantly improving your determination. They're both absolutely things that you should always be working on in my opinion, but it takes time, right? So the third trait, which you can literally implement immediately is focus. Focus is everything. It means making a commitment that you're going to prioritize that one goal for the next three months. It means throwing all your time, all your resources and just going all out on achieving that one goal for the next three months. Because what I've been noticing with the people that I've coached over the last few years is that if someone has multiple goals, let's say four goals, it means they're having to spread their time and resources between those four goals. So each goal is allocated about 25% of their time and resources. And what happens then is that they either fail to achieve them or they reach a level of relative mediocrity. I mean, you can't master four skill sets or four goals at the same time, right? As the saying goes, if you try to to chase two rabbits, you end up catching none. And it's the same concept in business. If you have a business idea, then you're far more likely to make it a success if you go all in with that one business idea for three months and throw all of your time, all of your resources, all of your energy towards that one business idea 
just for three months. And Steve Bartlett explains it perfectly in his podcast, The Diary of a CEO. And by the way, I'd highly recommend checking out his YouTube channel. I've literally been binge watching or rather binge listening to his channel for weeks now. But anyway, he explains this idea of operating in sprints really well. In business, what we do is we operate in sprints, which means when you have an idea, you assemble a team around it and you focus them for a dedicated and predetermined period of time, say three months or six months, only on that idea to give it its best possible chance of success. And after those six months, you assess it and you make very brutal, very honest, very ego-free decisions whether to continue or not. That's how I like to think about focus and projects and how to make the decisions around allocating your time. What you really should do if you want to give an idea its best possible chance of success, if you want to give DJing your best possible chance of success or writing that book or becoming a content creator, is you should look at the task and dedicate the next six months to doing that and only that. If you allocate time to other things in that period, you're reducing the chance of a positive outcome for that one thing. So instead of stumbling through life, spreading your resources too thinly, therefore kind of not really mastering any one thing, I really do recommend operating in sprints because that, in my opinion, is the single most effective strategy to achieve any goal in the fastest amount of time. Now, I mentioned earlier in the video about networking and how it literally, time and time again, so this isn't just a one-time thing, but it literally changed the course of my life multiple times and I'm now significantly more successful and happier as a direct result of networking. And I made a video a couple of months ago exploring deeper this idea of networking and how literally anyone can do it, even if you don't know anyone successful to network with. The video is aptly named the number one golden rule that transformed my life. You can click on the card on the screen to watch that. Alternatively, I made another video on the three hacks I used to reprogram my mindset. Again, you can click on the card on the screen to watch that and do check out the sponsor of this video Brilliant. Their platform is phenomenal for allowing you to essentially download STEM subjects into your long-term memory fast. There's a link in the description below.